Hi, this is Christopher Wook from Android Authority, and today we're taking a look at two devices to see how they stack up against each other, the HTC Droid DNA and the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. While we knew it was coming for quite some time, HTC and Verizon officially unveiled the HTC Droid DNA in an event in New York City earlier today. This is the HTC J Butterfly rebranded for Verizon, so if you start to feel a bit of deja vu, that's perfectly normal. Now let's take a look at how these devices measure up to each other. The first thing you'll notice is that while it still has a fairly large screen, the HTC Droid DNA is smaller than the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, with a 5-inch display to the Note 2's 5.5-inch display. Whether this is a good thing or not depends on how much screen real estate you need, as well as how large of a device you're comfortable with. One clear edge that the HTC Droid DNA has is its 1080p 440px-inch display, while the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 only has a 720p display. I was initially skeptical on whether 1080p resolution would matter on such a relatively small display, but seeing the Droid DNA in action, there were definitely times where images were notably clearer. Obviously, a lot of web content isn't 1080p resolution, so you won't notice this too often, but in the case of photos, for example, the higher resolution display is very nice. When it comes to the design, it's entirely a matter of personal taste between these two devices. As fond as I am of the Note 2, I have to say that I find the Droid DNA's design more interesting. The Droid DNA is also thinner than the Note 2, which some users may care about more than others. Looking at sheer power, it would seem that the two devices are evenly matched. Both feature quad-core processors with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 using an Exynos 5 chipset and the HTC Droid DNA using a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro chipset. While the Note 2's processor is clocked slightly higher at 1.6 GHz to the Droid DNA's 1.5 GHz, the Droid DNA seems to be the faster of the two devices. One issue that may not work out so well for the HTC Droid DNA is its battery. Now, we haven't seen the battery in action too much, but at 2,020 milliamp hours compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 2's 3,100 milliamp hours, it'll be interesting to see how long the Droid DNA's battery keeps powering that 1080p display. Both of these devices run Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and both of them are skinned. The HTC Droid DNA has an HTC Sense overlay, while the Galaxy Note 2 is running TouchWiz. If you're a fan of stock Android, you might not be happy with either of these, but both of them are similar enough to each other that if you like one, chances are you'll like the other just fine. Looking at the differences in features, both devices have one feature that they push above the rest. In the case of the HTC Droid DNA, it's probably the integrated Beats Audio, which is powered by a DSP chip in the Snapdragon S4 Pro, meaning it doesn't put a drain on the main processor. In the case of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, it's the S Pen and its related features. As with a lot of the other differences between these two devices, which feature set you prefer is probably going to depend a lot on how you use your phone. Are you a busy person who's constantly taking notes and using productivity tools? In that case, maybe the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is for you. On the other hand, if you use your phone more for media, especially music and video, the HTC Droid DNA might be the better choice, especially since it sounds fantastic. Although, it's going to be interesting to see how the battery holds up with all that media. Both of these devices are currently among the very best you can buy, so for a lot of people, this will be a win-win situation either way. Personally, until I saw the HTC Droid DNA's 1080p screen in action, I wasn't sure that it was a feature that would matter at all, but seeing it, it's definitely an advantage. As for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, as someone lucky enough to have used the device for the past few weeks, I've fallen in love with it. If I had to choose between the two, I wouldn't even know where to start. In the end, the decision between these two devices hinges on a number of factors, but the main question to ask yourself is, do you want a phone, or do you want a tiny tablet that also acts as a phone? Really, the only way to decide for yourself is to use both devices for a few minutes in person and see which one you prefer. 
all the specs and features in the world can't choose what the right device is for you. That decision is entirely yours. Which of these two devices seems more appealing to you? Do you like the smaller form factor and 1080p display of the HTC Droid DNA? Or do you prefer the Samsung Galaxy Note 2's S Pen features and larger amount of screen real estate? Tell us what you think in the comments. This has been Christopher Wook for Android Authority, and as always, we'd love to hear what you think of this video and the other videos on our channel.